check out Rio and his Yukata outfit. He looks great, darn. This is pretty awesome. Um, you might be wondering, hey, are these characters, you know, from anime, manga, anything like that? No, they're completely original characters by, by Good Smile. There is a bunch of versions of them. This is just the latest one. As you can see here, fabric looks great. Even has the sandals. Wow, this is pretty awesome. The good thing here is that you basically get an extra body. And that body looks rip. It looks awesome. So you can use it with any of your other Figma figures. Another thing is that you're going to be able to buy the Yukata outfits by themselves. So any figure can use it as long as they fit, which is pretty awesome. Now, let's check out Emily. I just love her flower pattern. Man, it looks so awesome. Even the sandals are, I mean the flip-flops or whatever you call them, are basically um, pink. Oh, by the way, sandals, flip-flops, here we call them chancla, so recoge la chancla. Uh, she looks so cute, you know, she looks so great. In my opinion, the one to get is her, honestly. And yeah, you can remove her outfit, of course, and this is what she looks like. Which is good, right? And it also looks like they come with extra feet parts, so you don't display them. Um, as you can see here, you can also get them separately. Same release date, uh, around 19 to 20 US dollars each one of the outfits. My opinion is really awesome, it's cool. Uh, they both look nice and everything. Um, it's gonna be up to you, really. Like, like I said, these are, are completely original characters, so. Um, it's gonna be up to you if you like them or not or if you need the outfit you know it just depends so let's keep on moving because there's some really cool Nandroids coming right up so the female hunter from Monster Hunter as you can see here she looks freaking awesome now this is what the normal version is gonna get you what you're seeing here is what the normal version is gonna bring so don't get too excited about the normal version honestly um, the DX version is really gonna get you hyped and I think it's the one you should get um, she looks great in everything but when we go over to the DX version well yeah you're starting to see what I'm getting into. I haven't been excited for a DX version in some time, and this one, as you can see there, is shock full accessories and effect parts. Yes, check this out. Slashing effect parts, the axis, the eye. Yeah, they got that from Goblin Slayer. And check it out, she even has throwing knives it's just cool that it has all these little pieces and the armor you can remove and customize a few parts. It just looks awesome, honestly. This is pretty cool. The only bad thing is the price because, um, well, a few years back, if this was uh, a Figma version, you know, that a DX would cost around 80 but now if we were to get a figure of her in DX um, as a Figma, well it will probably be around 120, that's what they're going for normally now, which is a little sad, but hey, in my opinion, it, it, it's freaking awesome. So if you love Monster Hunter and you want to get her definitely go for the DX version and lastly the hunter from Bloodborne so you can see here he has the bone saw he has his blunderbuss and you know we still haven't seen Lady Maria in Figma form painted and all that stuff, um, he looks great as you can see there, um, it doesn't have any kinder articulation which is great, so you're gonna be able to do a 
a bunch of really cool poses and since it uses the new joint system you won't be swapping out with arms or legs or anything like that um, it looks great it looks pretty darn cool and it's a nice option if you don't want to pay 80 for the Figma one yet the Figma one is really expensive it also comes with the lantern as you can see there which is awesome and I forgot the names of those little guys but whatever it's still pretty darn cool in my opinion I love to see that Bloodborne is getting a little bit more love, you know. I um, would love it if they came out with more versions of the different outfits, the different gear, but man, doesn't look like we're gonna get any of those. Honestly, I think we're gonna get Lady Maria, and that's it for, you know, the Bloodborne series in Figma format, but maybe, who knows, maybe for or Bloodborne 2 if we ever get it maybe we'll get something out of that but we'll have to wait and see so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time